so at the end of this lesson the students can able to understand unified modeling language as well as they can able to understand the concepts of object class inheritance states and its transitions So under the formalism of system design we are going to see about unified modeling language so unified modeling language was designed to be useful at many levels of abstraction in the design process so it is also useful because it encourages the design by successive refinement and progressively adding the detail to the design so the main use of this uh, unified modeling language is to encourage the design by providing successive refinement method so what do you mean by successive refinement method so this is a method which is used to perform after the design is successfully done so maybe after finishing your project you may add few components to your project that comes under the second level of the project with the help of successive refinement method maybe the first refinement let's say your uh, the project the actual project it may be efficient only for 60 percentage so if you want to increase the level of your project even after completion of your course also you may go and uh, research about the project and then you can input some of the components you can add include some of the components and you can make your project to be 80 percentage efficient so that means first time your project is 60 percentage efficient next time when you build the project what happens you are increasing the efficiency to 80 percentage so this kind of uh, refinement you are refining your project day by day or uh, in in terms that refinement will surely increase the efficiency of your project even when if you are not satisfied at this level also you may research and develop your project to the next level and you can increase the efficiency to 100 percentage so at the start of the project before one year you may have an efficiency of 60 percentage and after an year you may achieve the project to be very successful by using the successive refinement method so for these things uml is very useful right so formalism of system design it adds the concept of object oriented design it adds the con the concepts of object oriented design that is uh, object oriented design which emphasizes two concepts of importance they are the first thing is it encourages the designs to be described as several interacting objects the next concept is at least some of those object will correspond to real time pieces of software as well as hardware in the system okay so formalism of system design it emphasizes on two concepts the first thing it encourages the design to be described as a several interacting objects so there are too many interacting objects when you task about the when you are uh, talking about the task so these interaction should be taking place inside a design so that the design can works automatically 
automatically without the interruption of the human beings so for that purpose interaction is essential so the next is to correspond to the real time pieces also and to talk with the hardware as well as the software components the object oriented design is very important so coming to the structural description structural description is the basic component of the system it normally follows the object oriented design and it talks about object as well as classes so i think you all know about object an object includes a set of attributes that define its internal state so how one object looks like there is an example given here in uml notation so the uml notation it looks like this it has a command box which where the one end the right end is folded which is called as command box and the class name is display and the object name is d1 and fitzel array of objects elements menu items are called as attributes right so now what do you mean by class generally what is the difference between class for example for instance you can say a class you can give a class name as car means object can be object can be the brand names of the car example object 1 may be bmw object 2 it may be honda object 3 may be ford etc so if you say the class name as car that means the object it defines the brand of the car which may be bmw honda and ford okay so now what do you mean by attribute an attribute is the one which represents the internal state of a system okay so internal state so attributes for the class car may explain the internal state of the car the operation of the car so here they have given an example in uml notation to display something in a screen okay so how does a display works display you can define the display in terms of its pixels right so now if you say the class name as display the object is named as d1 object can be many but cla class name it can be one class as a base class and what operation does the display do it displays the pixel array of uh, Uh, elements and also the menu items the display may contain some menu items as well as array of elements is it clear right so now they have given the definition for class a class defines the attributes that an object may have it also defines the operations that determine how the object interacts with rest of the world okay so interaction of objects also depends upon the operation of the attributes which all comes together under the class so the uml notation of the class is given here here you can see the class name is display so all the boxes with the uh, right side folded corners are nothing but they are command box 
so class name is display attribute what does it operate fit cell elements menu item what kind of operation it takes place mouse clicking operation as well as drawing a box as soon as uh, this display is just an example we are going to see throughout the state diagram uh, as well as the sequence diagram so this display is nothing but what happens when the mouse is clicked in a screen it's a very simple example so when a mouse button is clicked in a screen let's say a laptop or a desktop what happens so already all the levels is been pre-programmed and it depends upon where at which spot the screen is been clicked so if it is uh, if the mouse is clicked near the menu item it will draw a box those drawing a box it has its proper size of fit cell or it has a proper fit cell size okay so only one operation we are going to see how does what happens when the mouse is being clicked it may navigate to the next page or it may open a new screen okay so now before we go to the example let's see the relationship between the association aggregation composition as well as the generalization so the relationship that can exist between classes and objects can be explained under these four parameters okay the first parameter is called as association which occurs between objects that communicate with each other but have no ownership okay association is the one which communicate with the objects that doesn't have any ownership whereas aggregation is described as a complex object made of smaller object there will be a main object which is by means of integrating two or many smaller objects then the next one is called as composition it is a type of aggregation in which the owner does not allow the access to the component objects it is also a type of aggregation only composition where the owner does not allow access to the component objects then generalization allows us to define one class in terms of another so there are some examples which we are going to see under generalization later okay so generalization allows us to define one class in terms of other so these are the relationship between objects as well as the classes so now let's see what is derived class so derived class is the one you can see from the from the example example of uh, mouse clicking operation you have a derived class it inherits all the attributes and operation from its base class so you can see what is the base class base class is display okay display is the ba base class which we were seeing in uml notation also right so this display what does the display contain the display it may be a black and white display or a color display right so a display if it is black and white display it either it generates black or white color if it is a color map display it may generate certain colors that can be taken from the color map okay so now this display comes from the derived classes when two derived uh, black and white display is also a derived class this is a derived class and as well as a color map display is also another derived class when these two derived classes were put together it creates the display okay 
right it inherits all the attributes and operation from its base class okay so now you can see the explanation of the derived class from uh, all the three class parameters you have display black and white display it describes a black and white display which requires new attributes or operations but we can specialize both to work on one bit fit cell color map display uses a graphic device known as color map to allow the user to select a large number of available colors so large number of available colors uh, he can get it from the color map even with a small number of bits per fit cell here you have only one bit element it may be either black or white here you have a group group of uh, bits per fit cell elements for us to select any color from the color map okay and the third one it has both display as well as the color map that would inherit the attributes and operations of display base class as well okay so from the base class we can formulate the derived classes so now we should able to understand another concept which is called as multiple inheritance so what does this multiple inheritance do multiple inheritance is one in which a class is derived from more than one base class here you can see how many classes how many base class you have you have speaker as a base class as well as display as another base class so two when you put together these two base classes it generates another class which is called as multimedia display and you all know what do you mean by multimedia it composed of what um, audio as well as video file so audio means it covers the speaker video means it covers the display class so when you put together the speaker and display two base class when it is combined together it it generates another derived class right so this kind of concept is called as multiple inheritance the derived class inherits all the attributes and operations of both its base class display and the speaker okay so there is a difference between the um, multiple inheritance concept and generalization concept okay so base class can produce two derived classes as we discussed previous or two base class can uh, pay away for a derived class by means of multimedia i'm sorry multiple inheritance so that's all about the structural description okay so till now we have discussed about the formalism of system design which includes uml language and its uh, uh, two important concepts and we discussed about the structural description under structural description we learned what is class what is object the uml notation for object as well as the class and then the relationship between the class and the objects by means of aggregation composition generalization concepts and then we moved on to uh, inheritance as well as multiple inheritance right so that's all comes under the structural description next we are going to see about behavioral description